Hello YouTube. I'm here at a local park in northern Japan and I like to take this time to go into more depth on why me and my family are here and the whole purpose of the channel that I created on YouTube it is for. But we're in northern Japan because I'm in the military and we have about a year and a half left in the northern part of Japan. But we wanted to make this channel to show you guys all of the places that we've been and we'll go to and on all of the many many places that you can see during your stay if you wanted to come to Japan or any other places that we've been to. But here is the park. Echoes of your words crashing into me. probably thinking, why is there this giant crater full of chopped down trees? Well, Japan has a more organized way of providing wood products to their country. So they take each section of a designated forest and chop it down, replant it, let that forest grow up, and then by the time they come back to that section, you already have a several decades year old trees. But You'll have sites like this that are very common to see in northern Japan next to uh, giant stalks of trees that haven't been touched in decades. We find a lot of things on this beach, from sand dollars to glass light bulbs from ships that the crew members just throw off the sides after they aren't very useful for the lanterns. And then we have the sad part of finding stuff on the beach, and that's finding dead carcasses of sea turtles and other sea critters. This one doesn't look like it's been here long, so as soon as the tie left, it probably left the turtle here too. So, once in a blue moon, especially in this circumstance, you'll find the uh, long rectangular roller floats that are super rare, especially the tiny circle ones, but guess what we just found? We found, stuck in the seaweed in the brush, a roller float. How lucky are we? Wow, that's a really good one. So these beaches in Northern Japan, they're a lot of the time filled with trash but you do find some treasures on them. And these floats are something rare to come by. A lot of people go out and their entire time being over here and they never find a single float. And a lot of people find the easier to find big floats that are probably the size of uh, like three basketballs put together. 
They find those a lot, but the smaller floats are really difficult to find. And we finally found one today. We can add it to our very small collection as far as small floats are concerned. But here's to a very successful searching party weekend.